A very good afternoon to you. Thank you so much for staying with us. This is the second and final hour of SA Today with me, Unati Bagyasha. While we continue this hour with our rolling coverage of the Kahiso shutdown, scores of disgruntled community members are protesting against high levels of crime in Mohale City, illegal mining as well as undocumented foreign nationals. They've been raiding abandoned mines where it's believed the so-called Zamazamas are hiding. My colleagues Chris Alda Lewis and Hasina Gori are on the ground bringing us rolling coverage uh, on this. Of course, we are expecting the General Commissioner uh, Elias Mawela to be addressing the community members any moment now. There you see him on the screen flanked by some of the police officials. Um, earlier, police were not present in that area, but we understand they have been there now for the past hour or so, particularly where my colleague Hasina Gori is stationed, and that's in Seoul City in Kahiso. They also expected to visit the Mobile. That's where Criselda Lewis was and not too long ago uh, also stationed there giving us um, uh, you know the very latest earlier you would recall that Gauteng police confirmed that the body of a man has been found in Chamdo in Krugerstop this is a way earlier on in the morning at the stage it's not clear as to whether the man was killed as a result of the ongoing uh, protests in the area but we'll continue to cross to our reporters um, and see you know if they are ready for us as soon as they are ready for us we will be going to them uh, as soon as that is possible. But let's continue here now. Mkhala City is on tenterhooks this hour. Tensions are running high as residents make good on their promise to shut down the area as they round up illegal miners or zamazamas whom they accuse of carrying out criminal acts in the area as you've seen earlier on. Now Gauteng police have confirmed that the body of a man has been found in Chamdo at the stage, it's still not unclear whether the man was killed as a result of the ongoing protests in the area, but we will give you those details. Community members have been out since the early hours of this morning, rounding up people who they suspect of being Zamazamas. People have been going house to house, collecting suspects. Now, homes and shacks have been set alight. Earlier today, a number of people were stripped naked and beaten before being handed over to the police. At least 20 people are believed to have been taken into custody. This as scores of disgruntled community members protest against illegal mining and undocumented foreign nationals. And of course, this follows the gang rape of eight women who were part of a production crew shooting a music video. They were working on site when the attack took place last Thursday near a mine dump in Krugersdorp. According to police, the suspects are believed to be illegal miners. Now, earlier today, we caught up with one of the community leaders in the area. Let's listen in. I'm truly happy for the people of Mohali City to come through and to be able to help themselves out here because one of the most important factors is that we got to be strong, we got to be considerate of our lives because most of the people are considerate of that. Now, go each and every day, we skate at 6 o'clock at evening, at 5 o'clock in the evening. Our community members can't walk. So now we say in, in effort enough. From 3 o'clock in the morning, since we've been here, the police just came now and they're busy shooting at us because this thing, it was supposed to be their job but they can't do their job. They're waiting for us to do their job. What's the use of us having a police station where else they're not doing anything? Because we are the people, the Mahali City Parliament and the residents of the, of the whole Kahiso. They're here fighting for this. And there's no looting, there's nothing wrong. We're just doing what is right. Protecting, closing all the shafts out of here. At the same time, residents have vowed to close up holes in the ground that are said to be makeshift mine shafts to flush out illegal miners. These communities say that they're, uh, that they're going to remain here, they're going to close up as much as possible, but from where they are uh, standing at this particular point, they're not going to let this issue go. And I'm afraid uh, it seems like we're going to be running from pillar to post. Uh, take a look in that area. My colleague, Noam Bende, more of the closures taking place uh, there. And um, this gentleman asking for, asking for a shovel so that that shovel can be used uh, to basically uh, close up these areas. But it's going to take a lot. Um, certainly going to take a lot uh, for uh, the situation here to be sorted out. And residents are adamant that they are going to uh, make sure that um, 
these areas in and around here are, are, are closed in this area. So I tell you, it's a, a, quite a volatile situation. All right, earlier our reporter Criselda Lewis accompanied some community members to a shaft in which Azama Zamas were hiding. We're going to try and get some assistance into here. I'm going to try to going to try and come into going to try to go in this area. All right, so we're heading to one of the areas at the moment where we're trying to be assisted by the community here into one of these areas where we understand uh, these illegal Zamasamas are operating. They're shouting Mobo Vulega and uh, we'll try to get uh, a little bit closer to here in terms of those visuals. Take you live inside here at the moment. All right. Uh, they say these uh, Zamazamas are operating from and if you take a look here this is one of the areas where they're saying that people should uh, be coming out from some of the community members are also going inside uh, this hall at the moment shouting Mbobo Vulega which means uh, uh, Lucy translation right it seems like we might be running into a bit of trouble here Now let's centre once again. They're saying, "Is there someone inside there?" Hey, there's someone people inside here. They don't want you to come outside. It's inside, in town too. Well, they're saying that there's some illegal Amazamas inside there. The community has charged towards this area, where they say that uh, in here, this is one of the holes that has been used uh, by these illegal Amazamas to enter. They've showed police these areas, but they're saying absolutely nothing has happened. They've tried to just enter the space just a little bit, but um, I see some of them have gone in. Uh, it's a bit of a scary situation, Nompu, here where we are, because uh, we're not sure what will take place. We're hearing from community members here that these illegal Zamazamas, uh, you know, uh, carry weapons. And certainly from the stories that I've covered over the years, you do know that some of them are extremely uh, armed on the basis that there are even some turf wars that take place inside areas like this. You hear community members saying Bobo Fuleka. Some of them continue to go inside here. They're calling others to go in. My colleague Neo Mbende is going to try her level best uh, to try and give you that shot where you see these community members go inside here. A very tense situation here in Kakiso at this particular point. I tell you, I simply cannot believe. Let me show you exactly what's taking. In here is exactly where uh, these community members are going in and they're indicating that there are some individuals that are inside here. I only but can see some light in here, but you would quite understand that the surface from where I am at the moment is extremely, um, it's very shaky. I've been in situations like this before where you know, these community members saying that at this particular point what they want is to get some light so that the individuals that are inside here, the illegal Zamas, I'm going to ask one of these, uh, you know, my colleagues also want to do some work here, so I'm going to ask one of uh, these uh, uh, colleagues to try and, uh, all right, we'll try to get through here, all right. That will be extremely impossible without the help of the community, but I can certainly tell you from 
inside this hole at the moment. Uh, this community is basically saying they are not going to rest until all the illegal Zamazamas that are inside this hole come out. Well, the problems are many. I think while we can report about the anger of the community, you have to drag it quite far. This is a matter of uh, illegal Zamazamas that stretches from the east to the west rand here in uh, Johannesburg. We reported on it quite a, a number of times. We've heard from the Department of Mineral Resources that illegal mining is basically costing the economy billions. But I know uh, in a conversation that I had uh, with the police minister, General Begitele, they're saying they've done quite a lot to try and uh, curb uh, the situation. But uh, it really hasn't helped. It's not that the work has not been done, but the work that has been done thus far has not been enough to curb the situation. These illegal miners are accused of multiple crimes in these areas. They accuse them of raping women and children, going into the homes, uh, house breakings, and a number of issues. This community says they're fed up at this particular point. They're not relying on the protection of police. In fact, they want police to leave this area because they accuse police of not assisting in this situation and not dealing with the issues that they say uh, have been caught to them. You take a look also right on top there. I'm going to ask my colleague and no one bend it. Uh, to please also point, there's absolutely a police officer right there on the top him trying to call the police officer trying to pull uh, individuals there all right let's take you now back to Kahiso where we understand community leaders are addressing uh, residents there so runa le mapodi sa ba go lobaka eh as the task team i get we are all leaders task team ya runa dilo tsena le mapodi sa Go, 
And we cannot, by all means, having community it will talk a life ammunition. It will paint them bad, number one, and the So, Baholo, Baholo. That's why Bakupile na Jaga kin to give it an alo nayana. Burgito mafopelalo na before the bato buwa. Rito mafa chance babuwe mari ko bakuhori. Honano rotena gagwa. Baholo ko paritis pe sengi after return. I'm a police at Nagawa. Please be at your safe place. We don't want the police because Bahol are remembered pay one. When we are unruly, we give them no choice. So that's why Kuparuna. Bahol, Kalitoka Ligausani. This is the beginning. It is not the last. So this beginning, Taga Retwerega Vic, Retwerega Vic. Arisa Roma la Garita Materi said, or release them mange because my police are not in Tanale Mazamazama. So Kupaga go Aretuafa, Motolemut. Ritual and go in true. We will send.
all, all the reasons to be in the position that you are in. But the assurance that we are bringing today, you, our forces are on the ground. <laughs> community to become we address our report the sake of your lives for the sake of the community's lives because it is dangerous that is why you see amongst us when a little combat team because the room only fell more to us now the necessary equipment and protection to go underground it is dangerous so the plea you would we are here now head office is here Deployment to Italy. Italy who got a rescue a situation in a Emona. Say as I had seen who sang Chicalabacala Hubani. Mamelo ya fell as well. Mamelo ya put Impa commitment to Kuri. I'm sure who to Hagana Que, Punongueza Halaze, I had seen Westville. I Salima Ponisa Alo on the ground. Balika who arrested the situation. And I want to talk about what we are doing in the process. Results are lacking. What we are pleading, who are the Lorona S communities, let us alert the police. Are we bringing more about what we are doing amongst ourselves? Because it's not all of them, Babu Anka. I understand. from the horse's mouth to Rueza Halangara, the community of the road. Rita Ritebe who assisted and he has been on the ground ever since that day, even last night, even now. And it's not only here. Has he been on the ground this type of a situation? I understand. Rudris is a hunter. Rudris is a hunter and Really, my point is that not only I kill a bonus for Fanny's and says, I am more as Nabetia's Ponisa. As my point is a fella, I am in Gama or two who won a hurry situation. A real Teola, Ritebe Hupila Zolo Gabato. I'm sure you will name the Minister of Police. The Minister of Police who finally got the matching orders. So, in Tatemawela, go to the communities. Let us make sure that we live normal. That is what we are intending to do, to make sure that our communities live a normal life. And we are together. Together we can achieve that. Thank you, General. Yeah, thank you. That was the Deputy National Commissioner. Thank you, General Mosikili. As leadership in Mapodis, Arabatel is at Tiluen. Retort. Let us not disperse. You want to go to the Makuta Retamai. For it was a Maya, we will gather aside the head and you will wait. But should you hear, please, please be safe. Aluta di Tunya, Luta in. Please, please be safe. So for now, Baholo, for now, I want to talk about Anantava Ekelakawa. I want to talk about the return of Atabatabatava. Lola let us travel from the shores. So that is us and you working hand in hand together, Bakolobak. So Hola no Negikupa, Arabato Sinana, Rikupa Runa Lema Bodisa, Rito Mbahul. As a belief. I forgot. Lepori mataba e helicopter rito ya gayo neri lo chega ha. As a brief. Forgot me. Maraka ni kuhu. As a brenda. Muridi brenda. Ni bitala community leader on the ground. 